Hello you beautiful people out there. So welcome to Parky Amigos. Today we'll start with um, a topic called I will give you 10 points of what you should do before you come to USA. So what are the steps that you need to follow when you are in your home country? If you are in India or in any other country and you are moving to US, I think these are the things that you should be uh, listing out before you come to USA. So I know in this time many students they are coming from India and coming from different places of the world to United States for higher studies for studies like PhD I'll be covering for PhD but if you guys want me to cover up anything like for master degree I will do a separate one for them but I think the graduate studies in USA continue comprises of PhD and master's both so for, if you are going for any graduate studies to USA especially PhD then these are the 10 things quick 10 things that you need to do before you come here in your own country stay tuned okay so the first thing list your documents uh, this is like you have first to take a pen and paper and write down all the important documents that you need to carry with you to United States like list your academic documents like your uh, if you're going for PhD you will take your bachelor degree you will take your 12th your 10th your mark sheets and certificate courses and uh, you will take your master degree certificates and your transcripts your uh, they don't need any migration or conduct certificate but if your university they separately have mentioned something like that then you will carry that otherwise they don't need all these things then you need to carry your birth certificate um, it's not mandatory but i think you should be having that with you uh, then uh, then if i have listed it yeah then the university the university in the united states where we're moving you need to carry all the important documents of that university like your acceptance letters like your i-20 it's a very 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 important thing no drama is a very important thing needed here in uh, usa because at every point of time you will be needing to show your passport and your i-20 and you are all done starting from the like customs the airport the in your college when you reach here every time they will be asking for your i-20 and passport so don't forget that your acceptance letter and if you're getting if you're in phd then i hope you are in some assistance as well so you need to carry that assistance letter your acceptance uh, letter is different than your assistance uh, sip letter so i think you should carry both of them and third is your finance if you are having any bank documents like if you're not on any assistance if and you have any study loan or something carry your bank documents every documents guys yeah okay the second thing that comes on our list is your passport and visa yes that is the most important thing here because without passport you just can't step out of your house i think in united states because in everywhere they need a passport but uh, I, I i will suggest you in a later video that if you how you can travel here in united states without your passport sounds crazy but you can so i'll tell you legal points I will not tell you any illegal way of doing it. There's a big disclaimer. I am no immigration officer or no immigration counselor. There are separate lawyers for them. There are immigration lawyers who do, do this job more better than I can do. But I will tell you from a student point of view, this is my personal experience. So carry your passport, carry a valid visa, carry a valid passport. Yeah, there is a question. Somebody asked me if my passport is expiring during my stay of visa. Suppose the visa is for uh, four to five years and your passport is expiring in two years, then what should you do? Should I apply a new passport? Well, you have two options. You can apply it in your home country before coming here or you can apply it here in the Indian Embassy in the United States. They are very, very, very simple steps. You don't have to worry about it. Just carry your original one. The one passport which has the visa on it, carry that one. So the third thing is uh, search and book housing. Yes, yes, yes. Because what I why I say this? Because before you come here in your uh, university, the housing they get filled up really fast. My friend, she didn't find any housing. She has to book a house which is far from the university campus and she has to walk down it's fine in this fall time it's fine in the summer time but winter my god you will go die you will die simply because you can't walk in that ice because here in michigan i'm here in michigan and here in michigan the cold is really cold 
yeah so you need to have a housing if you i will suggest the people out there if you are a phd student please go for a housing on campus because it will be nearer to a department you you can travel here because the phd for, uh, for phd people the time sucks there is no particular time that you have to go or come so take a housing on campus at least for the initial first year i would say first semester or something that you at your own convenience you can check housing of campuses for, but for master students i think um, if you are in a budget if you are not in any finance or assistance if you are on your own finance then i think you can search for some economic options but don't go too far try to find your housing as nearer to the campus as possible that's the key and when you book a housing off campus try to keep all the documents in your email folder handy because of the customs they will be asking you where are you staying in united states how do you have to say that yes you have to say that where you're staying in united states so keep your documents and also uh, uh, check with your check-in dates in your apartment because if you are uh, suppose if you are uh, reaching here in united states in uh, like um, um, august uh, 23rd or 24th and the check-in date is 28 then they won't like to allow inside 20 on 23rd if the check-in date is something they will allow you at that time only you can do two things first is you can book a uh, airbnb option there are hotels option but i think airbnb is really very safe and economical i am not doing any advertisement guide but it's true fact what my friend did so so you can book a uh, housing in airbnb until you reach your united states like re, uh, move into apartment if the apartment date is far or if you can request your apartment people to can i move in earlier do, do, or uh, is it possible they may charge you a nominal fee or they may not and everything will be set okay the fourth thing is book your air tickets you have to book it um some people book it before the visa and some people book it after the visa that depends completely on you i did my tickets before my visa because i was on a full assistance trip about i am sorry i am on a full assistance trip so i booked my ticket ahead of my visa and that's completely fine for phd people but for master student i think uh, you should be waiting for your visa until it gets covered unless and until you are confident to get into it i hope you will so yes book your tickets the sixth point is confirm your baggage allowance with your airlines they are really very strict over here they there is a very different uh, scenario from the domestic airlines and the international airlines they both are not same the things that are allowed in the domestic are not allowed in uh, the international thing and uh, go check in for like what are the baggages how many kilos you can carry and uh, don't overload your bag and don't uh, go out of their dimension that they are mentioned in the airport airlines services like the airlines you are booking into and uh, i booked in qatar and it was really a great experience i will say because i got a uh, three baggage allowance from my student coupon and it was great i was getting three bags lot of like lots of stuffs okay so confirm your baggages and your uh, stuff that you carrying and how to carry i will make a separate video on trips and tips how to pack uh, your check in baggages very um, comfortably and very smartly and also for the cabin baggages i guess you people know it but i'll make it another one with easier things so confirm them and um, 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 the sixth thing uh, the seventh is um sorry the sixth one the sixth point is uh, print all your documents yes when you are in india before coming to united states at least make 10 sets of your photocopies of your original documents like all your um, certificates all your documents that you are bringing in here in original set your identity your college document your finance document your passport your visa your indian ids everything make 10 copies what you will do with 10 copies right come on keep at least five copies at your home and uh, each copy in each of your baggage if you are carrying three check in baggages then keep one copy set in each bag and one copy set of photocopy at least with you in your handbag and the original should always 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 be inside your bag in a handbag never lose it never keep it in any check in baggage because if you lose them you are screwed up man my god 
then do that yes so print all your documents ahead of traveling and at your home give it to your parents so that they will keep it safe in case you need it it will be handy for you to get it back so the next thing that comes is number 7th is insurances i know many people they are confused that whether or not they should be doing travel insurance i think guys is completely okay if you don't do it but if you want to do it still then it's your option i leave it to you but i no i didn't do that and i didn't need it also so i think it's completely fine if you don't travel insurance but yes usa they are very 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 strict about the medical insurances like the health insurances you have to do that when you reach here <coughs> sorry <clears throat> so in that state they are very serious about the health insurances but the health insurances there is a term con uh, condition called <coughs> sorry excuse me they need the health insurance on the first day of your class so if your class is going to start on 3rd september then you and you have reached here in 25th august then you don't need it before 3rd september it's fine to stay here from 23rd till 2nd of september without a health insurance unless and until you fall sick ah uh, or uh, you have option you can uh, you can have a health insurance the next day you reach here but it's also advisable that you can have it but i think if you have it before the first day of your class that's completely fine so <clears throat> any question related to any of this point you can feel free to ask me comment me down below and i'll answer it the next the eight number eight uh, point is uh, weather and the transportation options in usa yeah before you reach here in united state the state you are traveling to the city you are traveling to please have a little bit of research here like before you reach here uh, try to know the demographic condition of the state or of the city of the place where your university is located here try to find out in what kind of environment your campus is look it is not very difficult to know about your campus before you reach here it's fine you can do that you can google it they and the universities if uh, i think most of the universities they have a like a university tour kind of thing so you can go there and you can watch about your university but about the weather conditions if it is written over in your university website then it's fine if it's not then go to google the location of your university and search for the is like what are the condition in summer what is the condition in spring what is the condition in fall what is the condition in winter and make a note of it so that you will be aware of how the weather is here what is the type of weather demographic and all this thing climate and all conditions and second is transportation options here in most of the states in united state they don't have a huge kind of public transportation i'm not a big fan of it though so you can uh, if you are not um, i don't think you will be able to buy a car over here like for few years until you get your driving license and all so until that you have to depend on the public transportation so make sure to have a bit of research about what kind of buses they have what kind of public transportation do they have metro do they have tram but i think other than the most uh, posh cities like uh, chicago new york and all they don't have such high public transportation like metro and all but i think they have buses in most of the states so have a research on that so that you can also be aware that how to go from university like from your airport to your university is there any pickup options available uh, is there any option to go by uber or lyft they both work very fine over here i have traveled in both of them and they're completely okay and they're fine really so you have to make a small research and note about it before you come here then the ninth point is pack all your important documents your gadgets your clothes and segregate them what you should be carrying in your handbags and what you'd be carrying in your check-in bag so cabin bag and check-in bag they both are different and there are some serious rules and regulations about what you should carry here and what you should carry here and what you should not carry in either of them so you have to make a note about it and you will get it all in your airline pages and also if you need i will put a link down in the description box so that you can get a segregated uh, segregated list 
of both of them and be sure to pack all the important thing and do not forget your travel adapters okay i'll make a separate video on what are the essential things that you need to carry a must thing from india before coming here in united states i'll make a separate one but for now i will say that i will put a list and please go through that list the 10th point we are going to watch the end of the video yay okay the 10th point is reach ahead of your class start yes that is very important suppose your class starts um at um as i said 3rd september at least make sure that you reach here in united states before a week i will suggest before a week i did so because um, you will uh, get to know about the places also make sure when is the orientation date here because you need to be present at your orientation otherwise they are going to cancel your registration and they are going to be in serious problems over here so don't do that be ahead of your orientation at least get uh, be here in like 2 3 days before your orientation so that you can get enough time to like compensate that jet lag things and all i didn't get any jet lag thing i am like i don't know superman Oh, sorry, Superman. I didn't get any jet lag, but you may get that. Be um, be like uh, take some safety measures, like all those things. Plan ahead of your orientation date, and uh, after orientation, they will give you like a day or two or three maybe before your class starts. So do not think that tomorrow is orientation. Like uh, I will be reaching here day before tomorrow, like today. Don't do that. Don't come in that way because you will be having a serious hangover. You'll be having. You'll be feeling dizzy. You'll be feeling very tired. Don't do that. Reach here. Mm, take a moment or two to go out to explore your campus at least before you are acquainted with the city, and. Uh, be fine completely so yes i think i'm done with all my 10 points that you should do before you come to united states from your home country <sighs> this is a lot if you have any questions or any queries related to this matter please comment down below and i'll put all the related descriptions in the description box links and everything and till then wait for my next video be parkier and be our biggest for life love you all god bless you tada